22nd here at Farmer City Raceway for the 6th Annual 5001 Junior Kimmler Memorial. And we're here with last year's Farmer City Raceway Super Late Model Track Champion, currently leading Dirt Car MP National Points as well, the Reaper out of Fairbury, Illinois, McKay Winger. McKay, tell you what, last year was a real, real good year for you, but you've really built a great season so far on that, on that here in 2016. Kind of take us through it so far. Uh, yeah, it's been pretty good. Um, just, you know, we didn't take any time off in the shop during the winter and uh everybody's working real hard and uh we you know we put a couple good cars together and um i mean i i told um the panograph that uh, i think it would show uh this season so um yeah we got nine wins and we've had a few slip through our fingers <laughs> i wish we were around the 13 14 wins by now but um all in all, it's good. We've had a lot of top three finishes, and um, we got about 30 nights left, 35 nights left, and hoping for no rain so we can get them all in. We'd like to like to have had about eight more nights in so far this year, so the rainouts have kind of hurt us a little bit, but um, we just got our 35th night in, so we're going to start replacing, and, um, you know, I'd like to go 10 for 30 here at the end and, and see what we can do, so... Well, yeah, kind of take us through that. Some of the guys that are up in the top five, they kind of made their bread and butter the Summer Nationals. They ran the 30-some-odd nights here. You've kind of been taking kind of the classic approach to the UMP title, kind of how Rodney Melvin, uh, Mark Faust, and some of these guys have won it before, sticking to your Friday and Saturday night tracks and picking up some of the weekly shows. Just kind of take us through your thought process on how you are kind of following through with this chase, kind of how you look at shows and decide that's where I'm going to go decide is there going to be enough cars there for me just take us through your thought process on that well um you know originally in the season when i started looking at stuff deciding what we were going to do we weren't going to be able to run uh, the summer nationals because we're working full time so um, i, I kind of put a different program together and i figured the bonus points weren't going to be that big and um you know i talked to ump earlier in the week and and they said that you know, Bobby did win 10 features there in Summer Nationals, but he did only get about 38 bonus points. So, um, I mean, 38 points is big, but if we can go rip off, you know, maybe five more wins than him at, by the time the season's over, I think that'll easily make up for it. But uh, like I said, we're just working full time and um, we're not, you know, to the level of these, you know, professional teams yet. And uh, we're, we want to get there, but um, that's just how we had to do it. So we started racing Sundays down at Quincy um, early in the season, and, and that helped us get our good nights in early and, and stay up there. So when they're done with their 35 nights on Summer Nationals, we got our 35 in, and, and we just wanted a chance at the end of this, right. you know, halfway through the season to be able to go out and do it. And, and we're right there, and, um, you know, there's a lot of guys up there in the top ten that it can go either way, you know. So um, just kind of how we had to approach it. and. And now it's time to go. So we're going to be looking for a lot of one-two finishes from here on out. A couple quick questions here before we let you go. Well, obviously you've got that title in sight. What would you consider a successful year when the final checkered flag on 2016 falls for McKay Wanger Racing? What, what would be your ideal season? Uh, 20 feature wins and a national championship. Um, you know, I looked back, and this is only our fifth season with the late models, and, you know, just – but four years ago, I got Rookie of the Year. So um, just to be up running with the, the top drivers in the sport right now and, and having a shot at this title is pretty big for us. And, you know, I build up every year, whether it's the equipment, the car, the, the transporter, whatever we got to do to keep building. So uh, $20,000 at the end of the year would be huge for next year. Before we let you go and get work on the car here to get ready for tonight's uh, Junior Kimmler Memorial, who are the sponsors equipment sponsors the people who all helps make mckay wanger racing who makes this title chase possible for you yeah and i mean i gotta thank everybody i got a lot of local sponsors that uh, really help us get these cars put together in the beginning of the year and uh, they help out with some tires and fuel and stuff while we're going down the road and i mean that's the only way we can even compete you know we're running off of uh, the winnings each night so i mean if we have a couple bad nights in a row that third night, we're probably going to be out of fuel and be on some junk tires. Um, so, and and with that being said, this is a weekend where we got to get it going. You know, um, stuff starting to get used up, and uh, we got to we got to make some money here. So, um, I got to thank Central Illinois Buildings, I Beam Sliding Doors, Pope Joys, Jerry's Birdhouse, 
uh, MQC, Creative Kitchens and Bath, 411, um, Ralph Fair, man, there's probably a few more. Bob Pierce race cars for sure. Um, his new platinum chassis has been pretty good. And um, I'm sure I'm forgetting a couple others. Ryan Competition Engines <laughs> and, uh, you know, just anybody that helps us get up and down the road um, is huge for us. It just and and my crew. I mean, they're they're out here working on the car six, seven days a week. So I got to give them a shout out. And uh, my girlfriend Kelsey, she uh, she's she's our tire person. So she's been on top of it. And uh, you know, she's probably already grooved. I'm saying probably at least 50 tires this year, <laughs> grooving, cut them up. So got to give her a shout out. But um, I think all in all, the season's been really good. And um, you know, I just I want to finish it off strong. There you have it. For the driver who's on what he's dubbing 2016, the No Survivors Tour for the Reaper, McKay Winger out of Fairbury, Illinois, here at Farmer City Raceway for the 6th Annual Junior Kimmler Memorial on Mud Boss Video.